Hello, Hello friends. Welcome to Rubik's Technique. Myself Abhang. Today in this video, I am going to tell you how to solve a Fisher cube. I hope you like my video. You need to know a 3 by 3 Rubik's cube to solve a Fisher cube. Please watch my video till end. Subscribe the Rubik's Technique channel and press the bell icon to get all notifications. Before getting started, I will tell you some basic notations about the Fisher's cube. This is a 3 by 3 Fisher's cube. This has two fixed centers from which we have to solve the cube. These are the non-fixed centers by which we cannot solve this cube. This, which contain two colors. These are the edge pieces, which contain three colors. These are the fixed edge pieces. These are the fixed corner pieces. You can see. This is the non-fixed edge piece. I will tell you some moves about the Fisher's cube. We have to hold this cube like this. You can see, this line faces us. This is the R move. R prime. The inverb that's known as the R prime or R i. L. L prime. U. U prime. D. D prime. F. F prime. B. B prime. Now let's get started. We will solve the Fisher's cube in four easy steps. First is. We have to make a plus or a cross like we made in the 3 by 3 Rubik's cube. We see the edge pieces and the center pieces are matched like this. Our second step is to solve the first layer like this when we solved in the 3 by 3 Rubik's cube. As you can see. Our third step is to solve the second layer like this as we solved in the 3 by 3 Rubik's cube. Our fourth step is to solve the third layer or the solve the whole cube like this. Now let's get started. Now let's make the cross and solve the first layer. In the 3 by 3, we directly solve the all four edge pieces. We have to, in this Fisher's cube, we have to solve this one by one. So we have to bring the edge piece in the lower layer like this. But it should not face us, it should face down. Make it face down. We'll move it to right, up, down and here. So it faces down. First it was facing us, now it is faces down. Now what we have to do is make the center piece correct and rotate this two times. Okay. So this, the green color is in the right and the red color is in the left. We have to take it to right and rotate this. Green color is in the right and red color is in the left. We will bring it back. Rotate this two times. So it got matched. The rule again. We have to ignore the corners to solve the edge pieces. But we don't have to ignore the edge pieces while solving the corners. So this is in the correct position. Now we will find the other one. This is here. I told you how Make it face down. But this, this part should be empty. As you can see. If it remains last, you can do it like this. Now we have to see which color is in the light and the left. Blue in the right and orange in the left. So we will make blue in the right and orange in the left. So like this. We will bring it to its original position, rotate it two times. So this three got matched oh, for the last time. If it is struck in the middle layer or the second layer, we have to take it down like this. Here, if it is in the between two correct pieces, so I will tell you how to bring this down. We have to bring this down, take it to left, sorry, take it to right and take this up. You have to take it to right, take this up and bring it to left again. So this comes in the lower layer. We have to see which, what are the requirements. 
green sorry green is in the left orange is in the right so this is the opposite so to rotate it two times and bring this here take this up so our press or a cross is made now let's solve our first layer to solve the first layer we have to bring the corners to their correct position so we have to find one corner and bring it to its correct position so we will take this green corner and take it in the lower layer like this so it comes in the lower layer we have to insert it in the upper side so we will take it to the right side take this down take it to left and take this up so our this corner gets matched between these two edges so by this way we have to solve all other corners like this we have to bring this down take this here and take this up so this corner comes between these two edge pieces do we'll do the same for all the to bring take it down we have to bring this down take this to left side take this up and bring it to it here we will take this down take it here and take this up so our blue was twisted now we have to bring the red one so it is facing down we will bring this down take it here and take this up i have told how to insert in the 3 by 3 rubik's cube tutorial you can watch it I have to take this here and take this up. So by this way, our first layer is solved. Now let's get started with the second layer. We have to solve it like a three by three, but we don't have to see the colors. I mean, we have, don't have to see the two colors. The non-fixed edge pieces are of only one color. So we have to apply the algorithm from any side. We'll take the right side. Our algorithm is in the description. or you can watch my tutorial for second layer of 3 by 3 you can also follow my hands Sometimes what happens our parity case occurs this is the normal case but sometimes our this case occurs in which a one piece is flipped or other three pieces are unflipped you can see like this at this one piece is flipped we have inserted all piece from pieces from right so we have to remove one any piece you can remove and insert it from left so our parity case will be gone but so i have inserted my piece from left as you can see the parity is gone let's solve our edge pieces you might be knowing the algorithm to make the plus so i will tell you directly from the edge pieces we have to keep this two blue pieces facing the right side and apply this algorithm algorithm is in the description or you can watch my 3 by 3 rubik's cube last layer tutorial that is in the i button you have to keep this and apply this the dodge algorithm this is the correct piece you have to take it here and apply the dodge algorithm algorithm is in the description So I have applied the dodge algorithm. Now we have to flip this piece. You cannot do by the this cube by OLL and PLL method. By this way, our fissure cube is solved. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. Please subscribe, like, and share.